Experts agree that challenges, both internal and external, will continue to plague the Malaysian economy but defer on how high such risks will be or whether or not they will take the country into another recession. A Singapore-based economist, Lee Hock Un, agreed with the assertion by Bursa Malaysia Chairman Abdul Wahid Omar that Malaysia is unlikely to go into recession. However, Nazari Ismail, an economist at University Malaya, said a stagflation was more likely to occur. Lee, a senior fellow at Singapore's ICS Yusuf Ishak Institute, expressed confidence that Malaysia could avoid a recession based on the healthy growth of the country's gross domestic product. Lee noted that Malaysia's GDP growth was contributed by the services and manufacturing sectors, both of which were domestically oriented and driven by steady demand for exports. However, Lee did not rule out the possibility that the country could experience a slowdown due to several internal and external factors such as supply chain bottlenecks, labour shortages and a pause in investment pending the general election. Nazari, on the other hand, warned that Malaysia could be affected by an economic slowdown as it depended on exports to China and Singapore. It has been reported that these two countries are bracing for a sharp slowdown next year. A slowdown, Nazari added, would be compounded by the current high household debt, which could see a rise in bankruptcy and downward trend in consumption. Given the recent increase in the overnight policy rate, it would be challenging for Malaysia to achieve strong growth in 2023, with stagflation a strong possibility, he said.